After receiving our raw material, the first step in the process is to anneal the tubing so that it can be cold drawn. Our annealing furnaces are roller hearth furnaces that introduce a normalizing or soft anneal into the process. This subsequently gives us the ductility we need to produce the tubes. The purpose of the pickle line is to apply a dry lubricant coating to the tubes in order for them to be subsequently cold drawn. The system is comprised of seven tanks. The tubes are cleaned, subsequently acid etched, then introduced to a zinc phosphate subcoat, and finally a sodium stearate final coat. This final coat gives us the drawing ability for the cold drawing once the lubricant is dried. Once the tubes have been pickled, they're transferred to our pointer operation. The purpose of the pointer is to put a nose or a point on the tube that is small enough to fit through the die for the next pass. Sometimes it's pointed for one pass or for two passes. Once the tubes have been pointed, we come to the draw bench. In the draw bench, the tube is run through a die and over a mandrel to reduce the cross-sectional area. We can perform this function twice in the cold drawing process before we have to anneal the tube again and repeat the process to re further reduce the tube. Once the tubes have been drawn to their final size, they're transferred to our finished furnace where they receive a final thermal treatment. Once the tubes have had a final anneal, they're not completely straight. The six roll rotary straightener applies bend and pressure to the tube, enabling us to ship a straight piece of material. Once the tubes have been straightened, they're transferred into our eddy current tester and subsequently our stenciling equipment. The eddy current tester non-destructively tests the tubing to ensure no defects, and the stencil is used to identify the tubing for the customer. Once the tubes have been straightened and eddy current tested, they're transferred to the finished saw. The finished saw is utilized to cut the tubes to the final customer's lengths. After the tubes have been straightened and eddy current tested and cut to finish length, they come to our final inspection area. Our final inspection area consists of a final dimensional check, a check for length, a check for stencil, and tallying to the finished bundle size to meet the customer requirements. After final inspection, the tubes are staged and ready for shipment.